Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputin, and this is the Google Pixel XL, which is one of the first phones to ship with Android 7.1, as well as some features that are exclusive to the Pixel line of phones. Let's take a look at some of the features that everybody should be getting, which include this new night light functionality that basically takes away the blue light, gives everything a little bit of an orange tint, and it's supposed to make it easier to view the screen at nighttime and not disrupt your circadian rhythms. Basically, some people find that it's easier to fall asleep with this enabled. Now you can access it through a tile here in the um, quick settings, or you can set it up to happen automatically by going to your display settings and choosing night light and then turning it on automatically. You can set a schedule from sunset to sunrise or a custom schedule or tell it never to come on if you don't want it. Another feature is while this has the Pixel Launcher, which is this new home screen launcher that won't be available on all phones, where you swipe up to get to the app drawer, you have these sort of circles, you have the search widget and the weather widget dedicated in the top. This is the Pixel Launcher, not going to be available on all phones, at least not at launch, but app shortcuts will be. So you can see here that if I long press certain things, it will uh, give you shortcuts to things like recent activity in my library or I'm feeling lucky for Google Play Music trending subscriptions and search for YouTube. And if you want, you can also create a shortcut just by tapping, holding, and dragging it to your home screen. So now that's a shortcut to my library. Another feature that's going to be available for uh, everybody with supported hardware, at least, is Daydream VR, which is a new virtual reality mode. I don't have a Daydream headset, so I'm not gonna show you that right now. Plus, it'd be kind of hard to do that on camera. Um, and there's a feature called Moves, which allows you to swipe down on the back of the phone for notifications. And when I say the back of the phone, it's the fingerprint sensor. So this phone has a fingerprint sensor. Uh, other recent Nexus devices might have a fingerprint sensor as well. And you can swipe down as if you were swiping from the top of the screen, which makes it a little bit easier to do if you're holding it in one hand. Another feature that's going to be available in Android 7.1 is seamless updates. That's something I can't show you right now, but if you have an operating system update, downloads automatically in the background and a quick reboot later and you're back in instead of waiting 10 minutes or however long for apps to optimize before you can update. Everything should happen much, much more quickly. And that's a feature that's sort of borrowed from Chromebooks. They work in a similar way. It eats up a little bit more of your built-in storage space, but it should make updating a lot easier. Now there's a couple of features that are exclusively available on Pixel phones, including the Pixel Launcher, as I already showed you, and then of course also the Google Assistant software. Okay, Google, what's the temperature in Cleveland? The temperature in Cleveland is 69. Okay, Google, what time is it there? The time in Cleveland, Ohio is 8.59 a.m. Okay, Google, how long would it take to walk there from here? Walking to Cleveland will take you five days and 19 hours. Okay, Google, let's not do that. Sorry, I don't understand. So it's a lot more intelligent in a lot of ways than earlier voice search, and you can find a separate video that I've posted that shows a lot more detail about Google Assistant, but of course I can't answer everything. Uh, what else is new here? It also, uh, as the Pixel phone, the Pixel and Pixel XL both have unlimited cloud storage and uh, backup for your photos and videos, high resolution uh, versions of those. And so if you go to the, uh, the Google Photos application and go into the settings, it will uh, show you my email address. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but it'll uh, allow you to automatically clear photos from your device to save space if they've already been backed up. And there's a feature called smart storage that will do that automatically. So you don't have to manually go in and tell it to delete photos the way that you can on some other devices. Uh, so Google Assistant, the Pixel Launcher, Smart Storage, those are all Pixel exclusive features, at least at launch. Another thing that's a Pixel exclusive is this support tab, which tells you that you have the option of getting 24 seven support either by calling the phone or chat. And again, that's something that's only available for Pixel phones, at least initially. Um, that's sort of a quick overview of some of the new features. And uh, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputin. You can find a full review of this at lilliputin.com. Uh, you can find a full review in video form at YouTube, and you can also find a more detailed walkthrough of some of the features of Google Assistant in my uh, YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash bradlinder.